Hello, boils and ghouls. Today, we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, October 1st, 2022. Let's hope this puzzle isn't too scary. All right, let's get started. I hope you're all enjoying the channel's spooky new October theme. Let's start with one across, lead, or lead. It's probably going to be lead, right? This is so ambiguous. It could be so many different things. Let's look at this down here. Anime and manga genre involving robots. Hmm. It's not Gundam. Really? It's not Gundam? Is there another word for that? Flexible request. Hmm. In what way is this request flexible? This feels like it's being tricky. Bit of shelter. Hmm. Is it going to be a modest shelter? Like a shack? Maybe it's a tent. Hmm. Those are pretty good letters. Let's see if we can build through that. It's broken by hounds. Hmm. Is this about hounding another person? That kind of hound? Hmm. Broken by hounds. I don't know. Blank tower. Hmm. This could be a lot of different towers. MLB career leader in total bases. Hmm. It's got to be a recognizable name. I wonder if it's someone like Hank Aaron. He would fit, although that would mean tent is wrong. What are these long acrosses? Is propelled by fans. Hmm. I guess this sounds like it's some kind of hovercraft. But I wonder if this is about a person that's propelled by fans of their work. Like, maybe this is an athlete. Hmm. It could be cheered on, although I don't think that's quite the right part of speech. It is propelled by fans. Hmm. I don't know. Final four? And this is wordplay, so this is not the final four of a tournament. I have no idea what final four they're talking about. Let's see if we can get a toehold somewhere else. January 1st for all racing thoroughbreds in the Northern Hemisphere. I have no idea. I don't know anything about horse racing. Old Nickelodeon kids show featuring a puppy leaving paw print hints to be solved. Okay, I do know this one. That was Blue's Clues. Excellent, that is gonna really help. Uh, hmm, still no idea here. Boombox sound. Hmm, I don't know. There's a lot of sounds that could come out of a boombox. It's not like a thump? Hmm, yeah, I don't know. A blank Baines, France. I've never seen this place before. Shoot, okay. Strategy to prevent a runner from stealing a base. Okay, this looks like it's baseball. I think it has to be baseball. So what's a strategy to prevent a runner from stealing a base? Hmm. I would want this to be a pickoff move. That doesn't quite fit though. What else could this be? Funky Cold Medina rapper. <laughs> I actually know this. I know that's Tone Loke. Yeah, that's a pretty old school song at this point. Okay, Blank Podge. That has to be a hodgepodge. On Earth, we're briefly gorgeous novelist, 2019. I've never heard of this novel before. Hmm. Meet in Tonkatsu. Okay, we're gonna skip that one. Hmm. Maybe this is a pitch out. Yeah, that's when the pitcher purposefully throws out of the strike zone so the catcher can throw to a base to try to get a runner out. Wow, okay, yeah, maybe that'll help. Use a roller on in a way. What kind of roller? Are we talking about a rolling pin? Or a roller in your hair? 
use a roller on hmm I'm not sure if we could get this one that would be great who wrote in the morning there is meaning in the evening there is feeling <laughs> Okay, well, I don't recognize this quote, so we're not going to be able to get it right away. Maybe with some crossing hell. This novelist, O.C. Hmm. One third of France's motto. Isn't that liberté, fraternité, égalité? It's something like that, right? I think it's going to be égalité. Yeah. Had bad posture. Okay, that's going to be slouched. Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't fit, does it? Hmm, maybe it's slumped? I don't know about that. School that's home to the key debts. I've never heard of the key debts before. It sounds like it's going to be a military school. Hmm, I don't know what it's going to be, though. You know, this U looks a little unusual. I wonder if we can build off of this. Who else would I be talking to? An equivalent phrase. Shouldn't this be, yes, you? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Blank Belova, AKA Black Widow. Okay, this is the Marvel character. I don't think I know this. Is it Yasmin? That's a wild guess. Let's see if that's right. Battle of Isengard Fighter. Uh, wouldn't that be an Ent? That was a battle in the Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah, so it's not Yasmin. Hmm, I have no idea what it's going to be. Be right there. And this is another equivalent phrase. I want this to be one sec. Yeah, banal. Hmm, so this is kind of plain and everyday. What could that be? Hmm, I don't know. Hides one's true self. I would want this to be plays a part or plays a role. That wouldn't quite fit though. Attached as a patch. It's not sewn on. That's way too short. Hmm, it's not sewed on either because this could be past tense. Man, I don't know. Terrorized say. Hmm. It's not scared. Fruity cooler. Is it an aid? Hmm. This might be a D here. Drudge or trudge. Is it plod? You're like trudging along? Drudge. Does that work with drudge? I don't know if it does. Is this a P? Blank Postal Thwaite, whom Spielberg once called the best actor in the world. <laughs> what a name. I've never heard of this before. Maybe it's Pete? I don't know. That would have alliteration at least. What Rose decides to do for Jack in Titanic. Yeah, I think this is going to be Poe's nude, right? That was a pretty iconic scene. All right picked up. Hmm. This is kind of ambiguous. It's not noticed. Hmm. Is it about physically picking someone up? I don't know. We didn't get more help here. Does this name start with Ocean? I don't think I've ever heard of an author who is named Ocean. Hmm. The Tongue of the Soul per Cervantes. Uh, if we didn't already have this P in here, I would want this to be art. The tongue of the soul. I'm not sure. Sappho and Horus. Well, I think they were both Odists. Yeah, they wrote a lot of odes. Okay. Pointed the finger at. I really want this to be blamed. Hmm. What is this? Maybe it's a pen. It's a way for you to express yourself, yeah. They may include dashes. Hmm. Is this like a line with dashes in it? It could also be a race, right? Like a 100 meter dash? Maybe this is going to be meets, like a track meet. 
That's very clever. Mocha native. I don't know where Mocha is. Is it in Yemen? This could be a Yemeni. Hmm. Unfettered. That could just be free. Word before nobody or no sunshine in R&B titles. I think this has to be ain't. I know there's ain't no sunshine. Body of art. And this is wordplay. So this is not about someone's oeuvre. I would want this to be about a body that was a piece of art. Maybe like someone that posed nude. Could this be a sculpture or a painting of a person somehow? I don't know. Something most people lose with age. Hmm. With age. F.A. I'm not sure about free. Indoor arcade. Is that called a galleria? That sounds right. If this was Yemeni, would that Y help at all here? Hmm. It almost looks like it wants to be body fat. I don't think that can be right. Body of art. I mean, is this about tattoos? Is it tats? That would kind of make sense. Tattoos are art that's on your body. Hmm, does that help here? Tribute. Hmm, I don't know. We were thinking this would be an M, right? Yemeni? It's not payment. Hmm. Sun, say. I guess this could be a verb to sun. This could be Basque, right? Oh, it's baby fat. Oh my god, that's so funny. All right, so I think this has to be Yemeni. Genre prefix. This is probably going to be alt. So maybe this is a testament. That makes a lot of sense. Can we get this? Is this Gertrude Stein? Yeah, she definitely fits in here. That sounds just about right. Use a roller on. Hmm, maybe this is a lint roller. Could it be unlint? <laughs> maybe. Is this lay? I lay banes? That seems like a good guess. And what is this one? Ability to detect misinformation slangily. Oh, we didn't look at this clue. I think this is going to be a BS meter, right? That's a really fun bit of fill. Maybe this is a blare? It's really loud? Yeah. Hmm. Cry that might be said while snapping the fingers. Cry. Maybe this is... Darn, could this be a cry of frustration? And so you're snapping your fingers? Yeah, maybe. Pound sound. Okay, this is going to be a dog pound, I think. This is going to be arf. Is this going to be surfs? Is propelled by fans. You know what? This should be crowd surfs, right? You're physically being propelled by fans at a music concert. So maybe this is... D lint instead. This could be crowd surfs. I love this misdirection. That's super clever. It's broken by hounds. Let's take out tent. I don't think that's helping. Could this possibly be news? Like a news hound? Would news hounds break news? I don't know about that. Let's keep that in mind though. This is an N maybe. Bit of shelter, hmm. Oh man, I feel like I should know this. Genre involving robots. Hmm, ooh, we did want this to be Aaron for Hank Aaron. I wonder if that could be right. Flexible request. Okay, maybe that could be any. Could you give me any of them? Yeah, that's very flexible. Okay. Man, is it Mecha? I think Gundam is maybe a specific manga. So maybe that's kind of like a brand name and Mecha is the more generic name. Lead. And we thought this could be an N. 
Could it be main? Does that make sense? Bit of shelter. Maybe that could be an eave. That's a little bit of an overhang on your roof. This could be an ivory tower. That's where all the eggheads solving crosswords live. Maybe this is main lead. Like the lead story, the main story. Yeah, we could be talking about news. And this is going to be horsemen. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. The final four. That is very funny. Oh man, right. We don't know her name. It really is looking like it's going to be Pete. Hmm. Let's go ahead and guess that. And then maybe drudge or trudge could be another word for a peon. A lowly worker. I know a drudge could definitely be a peon. I didn't know you could call someone a trudge, but that does make sense. All of these vowels are looking really weird though. What is this? Hides one's true self. Shouldn't that be lives a lie? Yeah. So this is maybe pleb instead of peon? Okay. C-E-B. Terrorized. Hmm. That doesn't look right. Maybe it is plod after all. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's what we wanted originally. Attached as a patch. It's not sewed on. Is it ironed on? Ooh, yeah. They make iron on patches. That makes sense. Rotten as chances. That should be slim. Place for a flat. This is not going to be an apartment in London. I think this is going to be a flat tire. River through bath. That's got to be Avon, right? This time we are in England. And then what is this finally going to be? Banal. Yeah, that should be stale, right? And then... What is this? I guess this has to be Elena, right? And this will be menaced? Terrorized? Yeah. Picked up. Hmm. T-I-D. Boy, that one is really mysterious to me. Can we build off of Otis's? Waved at, maybe. Hmm. Is it like said hello? Picked up. You know what this could be? It could be tidied. You're picking up a mess. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure about slumped here. Yeah. Long-term security for short. I guess that could be a T-bond. A treasury bond. Track often. Hmm. There's so many meanings of the word track. Track often. I guess it could be an oval if we were talking about a running track, but I'm pretty sure about Otis's. The White Lotus Error. Hmm. I guess it could be TBS or BBC, maybe? Not with an S here, though. Maybe it is TBS, although... SS? Hmm. I don't know about that either. Maybe it's ABC? Hmm. Track. Is it a track on a record? I don't know. In a moment. Is that a non? That means soon. Let's just take this out. This was a wild guess. Waved at. Hmm. I really don't know. Part of the mind that is, like all propagandists, relentlessly repetitive per Adam Phillips. Hmm. That's a funny quote. So this has to be part of the mind. Hmm. I don't know. And he's comparing it to a propagandist. Is it about your self-esteem or something? I'm not sure. Cousin of a crow. Is this a daw again? We just saw that the other day. Ring highlight. And this is wordplay. So I guess this is not going to be about boxing. We need another kind of ring highlight. Hmm. I don't know what kind of ring they're talking about. I don't know where the pun is going to be. Best effort. Is that your A game? Oscillates wildly. Hmm. 
What's another word for that? It's not waves. Hmm. Format of some NSA leaks. Format of leaks? I don't know what kind of format leaks come in. Porter alternatives. Okay, well, porter is a kind of beer. Maybe this is ales? That's a different kind of beer. Ring highlight. Hmm. Is it rings in your hair? Or the ringing of a bell? I have no idea. Hindu embodiment of virtue. Is this a god or a goddess? Is it going to be a Rama? Is this an M? Could this be a memo? I guess it could be. This O looks a little strange here. Hmm. Could this be an R? If it was an R, this is starting to look like it could be super ego. Yeah, I think that's a really good guess. That means this is not a non. Maybe it could be soon. <laughs> that's a much more common word. And you know what? Ring highlight. Maybe this is the highlight of a ring you would wear on your finger. That could be a jewel, right? So maybe this is not a daw, maybe it's a J. Those are related to crows. This is a jewel. This could be yo-yos, that's much better. Maybe this is Rama after all. And then waved at, maybe. That could be shooed away, right? If you're waving someone away. That's very funny. This could be HBO. We finally get a good letter here. Yeah. Track is a song. It was talking about a song on a record. And then we have one last square here. This is a school and this is a proper noun. This is tough. I would want this to be an L. I don't know what LMI is though. I'm not even 100% sure this M is right, but I think that's our best guess. Let's go ahead and throw this L in there and see if that'll do it for us. Ooh, yeah, let's try running the alphabet on this square and maybe we can get lucky and get something to fall in. All right, a Saturday puzzle in 43 minutes. It's a very long time for a Saturday, but a lot of that time was due to trouble recording on my end. So hopefully I'll be able to edit this episode down to a manageable time. Boy, I really enjoyed this puzzle a lot. I think the only blemish I guess I would say would be this cross here, Ocean Vuong crossing VMI. This letter could almost be anything. I've never heard of VMI before. Is this a military school? That's very interesting. Well, I am at least happy we got to learn about both Ocean Vuong and VMI. And there was so much to like in the rest of the puzzle. So many really fun long answers, a lot of punny cluing. I loved is propelled by fans for crowd surfs. That's definitely my favorite clue of the puzzle. That's really great. Final four for horsemen was also a very clever clue. And just the fill in general was a lot of fun. BS meter is amazing. I liked seeing this little bit of inside baseball pitch out. We did have kind of a knot of proper nouns here, but I don't mind as much when it's people's full names. It feels much more intentional that way. So I didn't mind seeing Tone Loke and Gertrude Stein here either and pose nude, that was fun too. We also had super ego, shoot away, lives a lie, man. Yeah, there's a lot to like on this puzzle. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that tricky Saturday puzzle along with me. Before I crowd surf away, I want to let you all know that I'm gonna be going on vacation this week. So starting with tomorrow's Sunday puzzle, we're gonna have about a week's worth of speed solving videos. Hopefully a week off will do my voice some good and I'll be back here honking away in no time. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.